Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Columbus, Ohio, with Gem City News as he attempts to do a revenge audit on uh, City Hall, which ended up kicking out Cult News a few days earlier. And the results are very much the same. Gem City News gets his ass kicked out the door. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, sir. Hi, you closed for the day? No, we're closing in about an hour. Okay. I need to talk to somebody from the mayor's office. All right, so you can't just go up there and talk to someone. This is the moron behind the camera, and he is not too happy about what happened to cult news when he ran through here. I mean, he got kicked out pretty much in quick succession simply because he refused to show his ID to get into the building. And well, he thought it was against his Fourth Amendment rights because, well, he thought that they were going to permanently take away his ID. But guess what? He either doesn't have an ID or he left it at home. But at any rate, he didn't get into the building, so he was going to file lawsuits. But I guess that it didn't exactly work out for him once he saw how much it would cost, so... This is probably the best option that he has. Just send another fraudster in there and see what happens. And why not? Jim City News is just as dumb as he is. So, but let's carry on. It's right there. You go up there, you fill out one of those sheets, and I'll send it to his assistant, and we'll set up an appointment for the meeting there. Okay. And how long does this usually take? It all depends, but they will get back to you. 30 minutes, an hour? No, I don't be, live in Columbus, so... It'll be, it'll be a couple days. They won't, it won't no, I gotta get up there today. Well, as he told you, there's only one hour left before the building closes, so I don't think he's gonna be able to see you today anyway, because guess what? These people are quite busy, and they don't have time to cater to moronic frauditors such as yourself. You're going to have to come back another time, and you're just going to have to deal with it like everybody else in the world, because everybody can, in the world who's employed is quite busy. He can't meet with anybody without an appointment. Huh? He doesn't meet with anybody without an appointment. Or anybody in his office. No, sir. Hmm. Okay. Well, I wonder what I do then. And so the city clerk is on the second floor? Yes. When's the next council meeting? Next can, Monday. Can you tell me that? Do you know what time? 5.30. In the evening? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. Well, I'm here now. I don't. I don't really understand that, but that's fine. Oh, Mr. Frauditor, the world doesn't revolve around your schedule. Nobody can cater to you 100% of the time because nobody really cares about your opinion. And so what if I wanted to do public records? Public records. That's a city clerk, right? Schedule. Schedule an appointment. 
Okay, well, I don't, I don't like the way any of that sounds. So, how about if I just go through and document the building? You can't do that. It's not public. Why is that? It's not a public building. The city hall is not a public building? No, sir. It's not a public building. So, who funds it? Come on now, you're doing this to me on purpose. You know, the taxpayers fund uh, the military bases that we own across the world, and yet you won't be able to get in there without a military ID or anything of that nature. They also fund the White House, which he is about to say, but you can't get in there either because of security reasons. Same thing here, you douchebag. Because of security concerns, they just can't let you walk around there unsupervised, you moron. That's not how it works. Hey, listen. I'm going to make this real clear one time. Mm -hmm. I turned in public records request over here at 120 Marconi Street. They took my money. They refused to give me the public records request. This has been going on for over three months. I come here, you tell me it's not a public building, but it's funded by the taxpayers. Why else? Oh my God, with this nonsense. There's nobody up there that can come down here and see me. I think this is just another attempt to get my name and address. Yeah, there it is, right there, folks. There it is on the back. Name, address, phone number, email, right? So you're, let's get this straight. You're ban you're, you're barring me from entering this building. You can't come in here. You can't walk around here. Okay. So I guess that guy from Colt News got to straighten you guys out about what to say because I hear you now you're not saying with a camera you can't come in here at all, right? Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? Oh my goodness, dude, it had nothing to do with the camera when Cult News came in here last time. It had everything to do with the fact that he was too damn stupid to figure out the Fourth Amendment was not meant to be used in such a way that he tried to use it in. He was insisting on not giving up his ID because it was violating his Fourth Amendment rights. And that's exactly why he was barred from entering the building because he refused to show his damn ID. They would have let him in there, but he refused to do that simple little thing. He made a huge issue out of it. Just watch the video and you'll see. Yeah, the dude that came in here and owned that fat guy over there. Oh no. You got that all wrong, dude. It was your friend Cult News that got owned because he never actually made it into the building because of his own stupidity. I see him over there peeking. This is how you people run things? We're the public. You work for us. You're supposed to help me. You were good. No, I'm not filling it out and giving anybody my name. What, what, what? I, I tried that already. It didn't work out. And they took my money. Oh, poor baby. Thieves. Wow. Is that what's going on here? They just steal. Isn't that something? How do you feel about being part of that? I don't feel like we're stealing, sir. Just... No, no, listen to what I said. I turned in a public records request. I paid for it. They refused to give it to me. That's stealing. Well, at this point, you're barking up the wrong tree, dude, considering that this guy has nothing to do with that. If you want to file a complaint with somebody, go file it with somebody who can actually to take care of that problem. This guy has a job to do, and his job is not to take complaints from annoying asshats such as yourself. 
There are people who specialize in that kind of thing. That's the kind of question you should be asking. Where do I go to file the complaint? Not try to berate this guy because he doesn't have that position of taking the complaints. Okay. Now I've come over here where I was directed to go to take it up with the higher-ups and you're telling me I can't get in. I want to give you half a chance. You seem like a decent young man, but I can't, you know. Then again, you're part of this, so. Hey, fat man, have you been a police officer a long time? You can't go back past this point. Get back behind the counter. Do not address from that man. Why not? I'm not on the other side of the. Find up in front of the counter right there. Nah, I think I'm all right. No, you gotta move back over here. Back over here. Is that what's gonna make you feel better? Is that gonna keep your vagina from getting tilted? You piece of shit. Or what? Yep. My free speech is fucking a okay, buddy. I don't care about your free speech. You gotta okay. leave the building now. What for? Because you're harassing everybody here. You gotta. I'm leave. only harassing you. Yeah. We gotta leave now. And get your fucking hands off me, right. guy. What are you doing? Escorting you out. No, you're not. I haven't filled out my paper yet. Get your hands off of me. Stop. You punk ass bitch. And well now there you have it. The uh, slimy little worm was physically picked up and tossed out of the building. Oh I'm sure he's going to want to file some lawsuits or something like that. But he had his chances. And well I don't think he'll be actually filing the lawsuits. I mean, that's something that they threaten all the time, but really, it rarely ever works out in their benefit, especially if they have video evidence like this that, well, makes it look like they're the ones who are actually the antagonists. So, good luck with that, Gem City News, you little punk. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.